On our legal infrastructure checklist, there are several items that deal with ownership agreements. This particular topic is about circumstances when a business is owned by more than one person. So if you have a business partner, this would apply to you. And there's several different checklist items on our infrastructure checklist. One of them says, are you planning for the sale of your business? So a sale of a business is a big undertaking and it's not something that you should plan on doing a month after you make the decision. It is months and months of planning in advance. It's a lot of getting your books in order. It's getting the internal pieces of your company in order before you start to consider the sale of your business. There's two different types of sales. There's an asset sale where you keep the actual entity for your business. You keep the corporation or the LLC and everything inside it gets sold. So the assets of the business come out of the entity and they go to the buyer. The other type, which is not as common for small businesses, is a stock or interest sale. So the, the actual corporation gets sold or the actual LLC gets sold and you as the owner step out and the buyer steps in as the owner of that entity. Everything within the entity stays the same. There's no change of contracts. There's no change of bank accounts. It seems like it's a much easier, fluid way to go, but it is a lot more riskier for the buyer and it's a lot more work on the seller side because there's a lot more due diligence that have to be um, sorted through, processed, and provided to the buyer so that they know exactly what they're getting. So the sale of a business is a big undertaking and I would encourage you if you are considering this uh, to do a lot of research, a lot of homework, and talk to some professionals who can help you get prepared. If you'd like to download our infrastructure checklist, just follow the link below.